Hey, this is Robotnik is Sexy, and this is my round four match for No JNP's OU tournament. Um, I was actually set to fight Pokemon MD, but he didn't have internet uh, for round three, I mean, so I got a buy for round three, and uh, felt pretty lucky about that because Pokemon MD is really good. But then I get matched up with the one and only Solo Solo Black Dude which I have huge respect for. Um, and uh, we we're, were um, finally able to connect this morning. Um, th this is the last day possible, so I definitely wanted to get this match done. Um, I'm going to lead with Gengar because I saw that a lot of his Pokemon were weak to uh, or super effective hit by Gengar. He's going to lead with Celestial, his uh, Celebi who has a very, very weird Celebi set, um, and I'm just gonna go Shadow Ball, and look how well Lantern takes that. That is, um, a little disturbing. I know Lantern can't do anything to me, so I'm just gonna keep using Shadow Ball, but still, that's a, that's like a four or five hit KO. Um, and he's gonna break my sub, uh, nicely with a Volt Switch, so he's gonna get that Switch advantage, and, um, he's going to bring out Jirachi, and the way he brought it out made me think he was maybe Scarfed. I knew he probably wasn't, because Scarfed Jirachi isn't as good as Leftovers, in my opinion. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go into Ferrothorn and Scout, and um, he puts up a sub. So right away, I know that he can't be a choice set, because that would be really, that would be like the worst move ever to put yourself, lock yourself in the sub for like no reason. Um, I'm gonna scout again and put up my uh, rain by switching into Seattle, my max defense Seattle, and uh, scout for that fire move, and he does have it, he's got the fire punch, and uh, on Skype he was like, no, why did he switch? And uh, I thought that was funny. And I'm like, so I can scout. And uh, Seattle actually puts in a lot of work. Um, but first, Jirachi is going to Thunder Wave me, which is something I'm not going to appreciate later on. But I'm going to be able to sing that Parish song, which I love. I don't have any, um, I don't have any direct phasers. I mean, I have Dragon Tail and I have Parish song, but they're like two different ways to phase. So it's, it's pretty cool. Now I'm just going to go back into Gordo here. Uh, the rain is up, so I'm not afraid of Fire Punch anymore. Uh, this is a mix, uh, mix defense build, so both my defenses are over 300 and max HP, and he's gonna fish for the burn and actually get it, so that's annoying, but, uh, ultimately it doesn't matter in the end. Um, I'm gonna start setting up spikes, because I know that he has to switch out this turn. Um, and I'm actually gonna do something really awesome, and this move right here on Ferrothorn um, really, uh, helps me out considerably. I am going to predict a switch, and I was hoping it was Latios, and it is Latios, so I get a free Thunder Wave. Now, uh, I'm just going to set up my hazards and fodder out, uh, Ferrothorn, basically, but he's going to go for Coal Mines, and, um, I'm going to go for Stealth Rock, and, uh, I'm going to go for two more spikes, and uh, I think he's going to get paralyzed a lot. Um, not yet, but he's at plus two call mine, so it's kind of a kind of a scary boosting off war. This is kind of like my last battle with the slow bro and uh, Fretris, but now he is going to get paralyzed. I'm going to finally get up my, uh, my final entry hazard uh, that I need to put up, and uh, I don't really need to sack Gordo, Gordo I mean... So I'm going to go into Seattle, uh, he's going to get fully par paralyzed, which is great. Um, and now I can get off my Paris Song, he's going to go for a Dragon Pulse, it's going to do a lot of damage because he's at plus two, and I get fully paralyzed, which is justice on his side, because uh, he's already got paralyzed, gotten paralyzed a few times. But that really sucks, so now I can't force out Latios, and I knew, I knew his team had a Latios, I knew it was shiny, and I knew he had a Latios, I don't know how. I haven't watched uh, his uh, videos in a while, but somehow I knew that he had a shiny Latios that I had to deal with. Um, 
I'm going to go into Starve here and start the Calm Mind War early. Um, but since I'm paralyzed and he isn't, he's actually going to opt to switch out. Uh, because it is a Calm Mind War, he is not going to win because he's just going to get paralyzed a lot. Um, so he is going to switch out Mur and go into Blue. Uh, <laughs> which is makes me think of that song. Uh, okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to call mine, I'm at plus two, and since I'm a Mew wannabe shit, I'm base 100 everything overpowered, and going to outspeed Lantern and go for that Psychic, and that is awesome, I can wipe Lantern off my list, uh, that is just a huge load off my mind, uh, I'm in a pretty solid position right now, uh, he's going to go into his own Jirachi, and it's going to take a lot of uh, entry hazard damage. Um, I had noticed when writing down his team that uh, he had a lot of grounded Pokemon. Um, I'm going to get an unfortunate crit, but I don't think it really mattered because I would have just thundered him again. Um, it just kind of sped up the process, which uh, you're going to see later. Speeding up the process is going to be nice. Now, um, I'm going to go for Psychic here. He's going to reveal, he's going to show Overheat, which is really. Uh, really strange. So I got cocky here um, and thought he was all special. I just assumed and that is a really bad thing to do in Pokemon in general because Pokemon they're, they can have so many potential movesets. It's, it's just a great appeal for the game and he is going to show me that he is uh, mixed which is you know, that's pretty obvious, and close combat is doing way too much. He's going to make an incredible prediction. I'm going to go into my Dragonite, uh, soak the wish. Now, I'm going to make a huge misplay here. I, uh, I was hoping on the Stone Edge miss, and I underestimated Infernape, thinking I could live somehow. I, well, I was only going on gut feeling. I wasn't even looking at the numbers. What I should have done is I should have switched into Ferrothorn and Iron Barbs plus Life Orb would have taken him out because he would have used a rock move and I would have survived. And that would have been really awesome, but I am kind of a bonehead and I get cocky and I underestimate Infernate, which is something you should never do. And for that, I lose my Dragonite. Uh, but I still have a healthy Gengar who is way faster than any Infernape, and uh, he's already shown me the life orb recoil, so I know that it is not uh, scarfed or anything, so I can just take it out with the Shadow Ball. He's going to go to a Suicune here, um, and I am going to switch to my uh, Specs Rotom, actually, and he's going to use Rest, uh, which is funny. Uh, he didn't like that play, but I, I thought it was funny. Well, I liked it, because it was good for me. Um, uh, yeah, so this is my uh, Dirty Girl. Uh, Choice Specs wrote him. Uh, he does work when he needs to, or she. It doesn't even have a gender. I'm going to use Volt Switch. It's Specs Volt Switch, but uh, it's not going to really do anything uh, to this uh, Latios, or Latias, I mean. Now, this is where the game gets a bit muddy. Um, I am going to go back into Jirachi. I honestly think I should have gone into Gengar and just subbed until uh, he um, used Dragon Pulse and then disabled that and then like, or even two or three hit, hit KO'd him with Shadow Ball, etc. I think I should have tried to take him out with Gengar, but I was too afraid that it would be a three hit KO or something and Gengar wouldn't be able to take the Dragon Pulse, because Latias is a very, very strong Pokemon. So what I'm going to opt to do is start the Call Mind War up again. And this is extraordinarily risky, um, because basically I am playing a game of chance. Um, we're both fully paralyzed. We both have a similar moveset, actually. Um, uh, I'm not actually sure who's more especially bulky. Um, they're both really bulky. Um, but yeah, uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna go for this. We're gonna have a Calm Mind War, and it's gonna be, um, 
very risky and bad, and I really should have used Gengar. Uh, I think uh, if I had um, sub-disabled his Dragon Pulse, I think I would have been able to just take him, at, take his Latios out, or he would have been forced to switch or something. Uh, he probably would have gone into Suicune, because Suicune walls Gengar pretty significantly. Um, but yeah, what I am going to do is, <laughs> is I'm going to abuse Jirachi as much as I can, because Jirachi is such a powerhouse uh, in attack and defense, and I'm just going to go to plus six. And um, I... I'm just hoping for a crit. I was actually hoping to um, PP stall, really. Um, so that is really tedious and not good for a video, but um, I was kind of uh, despairing at this point because I knew that if he crits me, it's it's done. It's over. If I crit him, it's over. But, yeah. Um... As you can see, we're doing, like, an equal amount of damage to each other, so it's like some Dragon Ball Z fight where, uh, they're, like, shitting their pants and shooting these fireballs, and they're... They're... Yeah, it's like that, so... Yeah, I'm just really hoping his Hidden Power Fire does not crit me, um... If it did, I might have been able to live it because the rain is up, but still, uh, probably not, because he is at plus six, uh, special attack there. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do more PP stalling and, and, um, really just blindly hope for the best. Um, I'm actually, uh, hoping for special defense drops on Psychic, and I actually get a couple which is why he is using Coal Mind here, which is funny. Um, I'm gonna go Psychic, get, get another Spit F drop. Um, I'm getting pretty lucky on the, uh, on the dice rolls for these attacks, and, um, it's something I greatly appreciate. Now, I'm just gonna start using Thunder, because, um, I think I'm down to, like, 10 or 9 PP for, uh, Psychic. And, yeah, so, um, just basically PP stalling. Um... I had a plan two in my mind, and the plan two was to get him to use all his <laughs> hidden power PP, and then s disable his Dragon Pulse with Gengar, and then like force him to struggle, or I guess he wouldn't struggle, because he has Wish and Calm Mind. Um, but yeah, that was my plan B, because I honestly could see this going for even longer than it really did. Um, and it does eventually end. I think it ends this turn or the next. Um, I'm gonna go, uh, and take another hidden power to the face. Live it. Go for Psychic. I am the one who's gonna break out that crit. And then, uh, something unusual happens, but I need to stress that Solo Solo Black Dude did not DC on me. Uh, it was a merciful fate DC. And we both decided that I basically won the match because I won the boosting war. And I really didn't want to win this way, but it just kind of happened like that. And uh, that's the match, and I'll see you later.